right, so we have some more WordPress content for you guys. Y'all ready for it? You ready? Okay, a little bit, a little bit better than, oh, thank you, a little bit better, I appreciate that. Listen, you know, um, I've known Virtuoso for a very long time, and, you know, our next speaker from Virtuoso, Carlos Rego, he thinks it's time for WordPress hosting to grow up. That sounds provocative. Please welcome Carlos Rego from Virtuoso. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, two things for me to start with. First, I did a keynote yesterday, and my product marketing manager told me that I moved too much in stage. So I'll try to uh, not to move as much. And a second, um, this keynote today, uh, I just want to take uh, 30 seconds of your time to say one thing. This keynote today was actually not supposed to be delivered by myself. We're supposed to be delivered by our great CTO, Roslam. Uh, Roslam is a fellow Ukrainian, and as such, we all understand the plight that his country is having, and he just didn't felt like, you know what, it's not for me, not today. As such, I just want to say, I would like to welcome you in just helping me with a round of applause for our brave Ukrainian friends <laughs> and all they work. Because there's actually one thing that a lot of you in this room might not understand, but this industry, the hosting industry, was seriously um, done in the, in the backbone of a lot of Ukrainian friends. A lot of the great companies that have spoken here today and will be speaking here have had a lot of roots in Ukraine. So, uh, you know, our hearts are with them, and thank you guys. Now, WordPress hosting. Time to grow up. What do we mean by that? You guys heard a few keynotes here, uh, and I, I think, you know, I don't need to come here and tell you some of the numbers that you've already seen, but the fact of the matter is the WordPress economy, it just keeps growing. What do I mean by a trillion dollars? Well, last year, the WordPress economy, all the revenue generated by WordPress, hit around 630 billion. Now, WordPress itself, the interesting part is WordPress itself is growing 5, 5, 5%, 5 some percent year on year. But the WordPress economy is growing something like in the magnitude of 6.1, 6.2%. So the amount of revenue being generated is actually outpassing the growth of the amount of sites themselves. 43% of all websites, pretty sure you guys heard this one here a few times. But above all, 65% of all CMSs. It's just massive. Look, there's no ignoring it. Now, I love this one. I absolutely love this one. If WordPress was a country, its economy would rank 39th in the world. Now, I'm Portuguese. I wonder where my country stands on that list. I forgot to check that one before I came here. But uh, I wonder if it's even bigger than my country. Now, of course, the issue and the reason for this keynote today is, and I'm sure, and I mean, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite confident that a lot of you are here today because you're having exactly these issues. People are coming to our booth all the time, and people have been coming to us all these years and saying, look, I'm doing WordPress, I know this is the future, I know this is where we're going, but I'm doing it in shared hosting. And I'm facing all the issues, you know, there's no, uh, no, no scalability being the number one. Uh, performance, security, a big issue that we see over and over again. Uh, li you know, life, si life cycle mechanism management. Uh, isolation, DR, HA, all the issues that people today that are doing shared hosting, WordPress based on shared hosting are facing. And it makes sense, we're selling uh, we've been selling shared hosting now for over 20 years. If anybody saw my keynote yesterday, my, my, my speech on that one was pretty clear. Shared hosting, the way we used to do it, it's just on the way out. There's new, better ways. And when clients are looking for hosting, their definition of what they're looking for is different than what we were selling 20 years ago. They want efficiency, 
and they want products that they buy as a service that are basically built for that application that they want to run. Now, what do business needs then? Well, they need uptime, well, that goes without saying, high performance, but here's the thing, they need scaling. They need quick horizontal and vertical scaling. As a customer, I was just having this conversation with a customer now that actually pointed out something that I thought it was actually, he put it better than I could have put. He said, Carlos, the issue that I have is if I sell a $4 WordPress package and if I sell a $4,000 WordPress package, these are different systems. They don't know about each other. Anytime I have a client that starts to grow slightly and needs more scale, I have to completely uproot him from where he is and move into a one-to-one -one engagement. And I said to him, don't worry, I have a solution for that. Go see my keynote. Uh, of course, professional, you know, continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline. Very, very important. Why is this important? Because you guys all know how we work with WordPress. You know, we have staging sites, production sites, when we upgrade, we have to make sure that nothing breaks. You cannot upgrade individual components. You have to, of course, unless you're talking about uh, the, uh, the plugins, but I'm talking about WordPress as a whole. It's very, very difficult. Automatic updates, improved security, which you don't get none of this with shared hosting. Of course, you can do it on VPS. This has been the solution that you know, infrastructure as a service providers have been trying to push to. Just put your WordPress on a VPS. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single one of those. You guys can read it. I also see I'm running out of time. But the fact of the matter is, yes, this is something that if you're doing it once, it's easy. You can do it. But try to do this 10,000 times, right? And then you have 10,000 VMs to manage and 10 times separate disjointed environments that you need to somehow support. So it's complex, time consuming, and it's error prone because this is a manual uh, engagement. You need to automate it. So you can always hope for the best, but no. What, and the reason for here, why we're here today is, yeah, I want to tell you guys there is a much easier way to do this. Now, one of the things, uh, very quickly, that we did this year was we, uh, virtuals, we, we acquired two companies. We acquired ONAP and we acquired Jelastic. And one of the great things that we got with Jelastic was Jelastic had been working on this exact problem now for almost 10 years. They had very mature solutions for WordPress. But funny enough, it was hidden in the middle of the DevOps system. And that was the first thing that we looked at. We were like, guys, you've solved it. It's here. What do we mean by that? So we have now what we call the Virtuals Application Platform for WordPress, which was based on the Jelastic technology that gives you automatic clusterization of your WordPress workloads. Optimized container technology, vertical and horizontal scaling, automatic updates, improved security, and improved management. All of that on this platform. But the thing that makes it really uh, different is this is not just about deploying WordPress versus on a VM. This is way more than that. So there's two topologies. Actually, there is four topologies that you can use depending on what your customer's requirements are. I'm just seeing some of the images don't show quite well here, but basically there is one which is the standalone, and that's where we take your WordPress, we deploy it inside a container, but here's the difference. Each one of those services are then managed by their own cloudlet, and they can be better served, better managed. But as if your client grows, or if you're looking to, to go into a higher tier, we really want to do something which is what we call, we want to really democratize the high-end WordPress hosting. Today, you want a high-end WordPress hosting, you go to a provider, it's a few thousand dollars, it's a one-to-one -one engagement. It should be automated. And we have the technology, and we do that with clusters. Now, what is the advantage of the clusters? The clusters mean that every single service runs inside its own fenced-in container. What it then means is that at any point, and you need to 
do some maintenance or you need to, to do some upgrades, you can upgrade individual portions of your entire ecosystem. We then have then the ability to take these and actually distribute them globally. But as I said, I only have 10 minutes. I can go through every single one of them. So the message that I'm here today is to tell you, yes, you can sell better WordPress hosting. You can sell high-end WordPress hosting and safe low-end WordPress hosting with our product. Quickly, where it stands for the hosting providers, well, we're simply saying, look, you need scale. You need to be ready for service providers. You have other options there that you can hardly see, but uh, we position it better because we're service provider ready, production ready, and multi-cloud ready along all the others. I'm just seeing my time, timer here. I'll be, right, I'll be right out. And it's better for your customers as well because, again, they need the scalability and they need it to be easy. Again, I cannot show you all of this in 10 minutes, but you know, all we're saying is it is time for grown-up WordPress hosting. Shared hosting, it's simply not scalable or, or safe. But you shouldn't be spending hundreds, millions of dollars in developing the platform yourself. We have a solution for that, and we'd like to talk to you about it. And we'll even give you six months free to play with it and prove us wrong. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. <laughs>